Let's go, baby. Woo! I am hyped for The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. I had a blast playing Breath of the Wild for the first time all the way back in 2017, and I can't wait to get my hands on Tears of the Kingdom. Let's explore why you should also be excited for Tears of the Kingdom. The very first thing Nintendo showed us of this game were cutscenes with Link, Zelda, and Ganondorf. That's right, Ganondorf. In Breath of the Wild, we didn't get that impactful cutscenes or dialogue from Ganon. The best we got from Ganon was him screaming at us. Just imagine if we get to hear Ganondorf talk in this game. Also, if Ganondorf is always in that mummy form, that would be extremely freaky, but awesome at the same time. Wake up, Link. Anyway, another thing to point out is that Zelda literally falls into the abyss. Link doesn't even survive those kinds of falls. And the hand grabbed Link as if he was going to die. While we don't know for sure that Zelda dies, Bill Trinan explained that they didn't reveal the subtitle for the game in 2021 because, and I quote, As for why we're holding back on the name, you'll just have to stay tuned because, obviously, Zelda names are kind of important. Those subtitles, they start to give little bits of hints about maybe what's going to happen. Tears of the Kingdom Tears of the Kingdom they called it that for a reason. And what better reason to call it that because Zelda dies. If Zelda does die in this game, we could get something similar to Spirit Tracks. It's definitely possible. I mean, in Breath of the Wild, the King and the Four Champions helped Link defeat Ganon. In Tears of the Kingdom, it very well could be Zelda this time around. Think about it. This whole time, the Zelda team has been working on new mechanics, items, enemies, puzzles, and locations for Tears of the Kingdom. They have showed us barely anything of this game, and yet, people have spent hours upon hours dissecting every single new thing they have showed us. To me, that speaks volume. We are going to be exploring the skies for crying out loud. Do you remember how big Breath of the Wild's world was? Every single Zelda game has had banger music. Even though Breath of the Wild's music was more subtle than other Zelda titles, it was still amazing. Who knows what music we'll get when exploring the sky. Are you excited for The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom? Let me know in the comments below and I hope you all enjoyed the video.